Hi everyone, I'm so excited to do another read aloud for you guys today. You guys did so awesome uh, figure out what the setting was in the last story. And today we're going to talk about characters. So that's the next finger in our five finger retail. Remember the first one was setting. The next is coming characters. So the characters are just the people in the book or the people or the animals. And sometimes you can say something as easy as Pete the Cat and his friends. But my challenge for you today is to not only just say Pete the Cat and his friends, but to try to come up with the actual names of the other characters in the book. Try to remember their names the best. So try to remember the names of the characters. And then comment uh, as many characters as you can remember in the comments below. Awesome. So we're going to get started. The name of the story today is Pete the Cat Scott. Class, and this is by James Dean. It's math time, says Pete, teacher Mr. G. Pete the cat loves math. He loves how the numbers work together. If I had three red blocks and four yellow blocks together, how many blocks would we have in all, says Mr. G. Pete raises his hand. Seven blocks, says Pete. Three plus four equals seven. Very good, Pete, says Mr. G. Pete knows how to do math. Mr. G asked the class a subtraction question. If I take two blocks away from the seven block, how many blocks will be left? Pete raises his hand, but the teacher calls on Tom. Nine, says Tom. Pete feels bad for Tom. Tom is super smart. He can name all the dinosaurs. He just has trouble with math. Because 7 minus 2 is not 9. P has an idea. He will help Tom become awesome at math. Helping is cool. On the bus home from school, Pete sits next to Tom. Do you want to come over to play, Tom asks. I've got some cool new race cars for my birthday. Awesome, says Pete. We can do our math homework, and then we can race the cars. I hate math, says Tom. You don't hate math, Pete tells Tom. You just don't love it yet. And so all my friends who may not love math, you just don't love it yet. Pete sets up some blocks. If I had five blue blocks and three orange blocks together... How many blocks will I have in all? This is boring, says Tom. Can't we play with my race car? This gives Pete a great idea. Sure we can, he says. Pete lines up some race cars. If five red cars are going to the racetrack and five yellow cars are going to the car wash, how many cars are on the road? He asks. Easy, says Tom. Ten cars. Like a traffic jam. Pete's using something that Tom loves to, so he can teach him math. What a great idea. Now what if two of the cars stayed home, Pete says. How many cars would be left? Hmm, says Tom, studying the lineup. Eight cars. Right, says Pete. See, I told you math is awesome. Pete quizzes Tom on one math problem after the next. Four cars minus one. Three, says Tom. Eight cars plus seven, says Pete. Fifteen, says Tom. I can't believe it. I'm doing math and I'm loving it. Pete and Tom do their homework. Let me know if you need my help, says Pete. Thanks, says Tom. But I don't know what I'm doing now. The next day, Pete hands in his math homework. Tom does too. After lunch, the teacher passed back their assignments. He and Tom each got one wrong. I'd like to see you two after class, says Mr. G. You both know not to copy someone else's homework, says Mr. G. We didn't copy, says Pete. You both got the exact same answer wrong, Mr. G tells them. Uh-oh.
How can we prove that we got the answers on our own, says Tom. I know, Pete tells him. Bring your race car to school tomorrow. Why, Tom asks. You'll see, says Pete with a smile. The next day, Pete and Tom get to school early. What are all the race cars for, asks Mr. G. To show you how Tom got to be so good at math, says Pete. Give Tom a math problem, Pete says. Any math problem. I'll get it right, says Tom, without Pete's help. Mr. G gives Tom one math problem after the other, and Tom uses the race cars to get all the answers right. Wow, says Mr. G. I'm impressed. Pete helped me by making math fun, Tom says. I think that's something we can all learn from Pete, Mr. G says. Math can be fun. Take it from Pete. Math is meat. Awesome. I love that story because I also love math. Math can totally be fun if you make it. So, I want you to think, who are the characters in this story? Do you remember their names? Write in the comments. And also tell me who your favorite character is and why. Awesome. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.